Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to do a layout in proper way. So here, now we are in model space. Click here layout 1. Then you can see the page setup is existing. So I am going to delete this. And go to this tab and right click. Go to page setup manager. Now we have page setup manager dialog box. Here available is layout 1 because we selected the layout 1 tab. Go to modify. Then you can see so many settings are default. Here the page setup we are going to select the printer. Click on here. In this case I am going to select the Microsoft print PDF click on here then the paper size is changed here we have so many paper sizes are there here I'm going to select this A3 size okay. then plot area I'm going to plot the layout so many types are there but my preference is layout and plot offset is default is 0 0 then go to plot scale 1 is to 1 and millimeters we have sheet setting also millimeter so you don't worry about this this millimeter is okay then plot style so going to change the plot style table click on here just I'm going to get monochrome it's mean black and white click on here then go to quality is so many things are there so many quality variety of types but in this case we we can use normal you can see the dpi dot by inch is 150 that's normally 300 is enough then go to drawing orientation this in this case is landscape then click ok then close here you can see the paper size is fixed by a3 if you want to get a template or if you want to get a gauge or draw gauge you can use the tools and you can draw it here so click on this rectangle tool then go to 0 comma 0 coordinate this will start at from 0 comma 0 then shift plus 2 go to add and give 420 comma 297 enter this is our paper size if you want to get the gauge or cutting area it will give as 5 millimeters I'll give 5 then here okay then I don't need this line or so delete click here you can even better you can give the further 5 then we can pin it here this is our outline gauge if you want just I'm uh, done by this rectangle tool so we can increase this width so select this one and go to properties go here the global width is you can change as one little bit thicker than past one next we are going to insert some drawings or viewports to here if you want you can draw any templates around this area add any viewports you can type viewports type as viewports then you can get several types first this one is called as single one then vertically two viewports, horizontally two viewports for equal parts. For even though viewport spacing, you can increase. Uh, just in the, in this case, I am going to give 2.5. Then I am going to draw this one. You, see, you can see the spacing is 2.5. Here several viewports are added. If you want to get the preview from here, so you can go to here plot preview or else click on here. Then go to plot preview click on here then you can see the plot preview of this layout right this is the viewport so if you don't want to print this viewport go select all this one and go to home then select it here or you can use this as in new layer so go to layer properties and go to new layer so I'm going to give this one as VP so viewport so I don't need to print out this one so I can stop this print then close this one select all these and go to layer then go to preview you can see the print 
the viewport is not available but our drawing will available on this space okay thank you